Hello students, you are welcome in my online teaching classes. I am Shishpal Chauhan and this video lecture for is on phonetics for the students who are doing post graduation in, uh, in English language and this is about organs of speech. There are certain organs of speech which play very very important role in the production of speech sounds and lungs are the most important. They also play a very important role in the production of speech sounds. They supply the air for the speech production. And you must know lungs are like bellows and they produce air stream that comes out through larynx and pharynx and enter the mouth to produce speech sounds. And these are lungs and they look like bellows. They produce air and the air uh, goes through these passages, these, these pipes you can say, towards larynx and then enter the pharynx and uh, enter the nasal passage as well as when it is required and the air comes out of mouth uh, producing several sounds. As soon as the air stream enters the mouth, various places of articulation start acting to produce the sound that speakers required to produce. This, this is bellow and bellow, uh, he throws air into the bellow, bellow and then the air goes through this pipe out and producing sweet, sweet melodies with the help of these fingers. This is also bellows, uh, bellow you can say and another part, important part is trachea or the windpipe. This is called the windpipe through which the air passes from the lungs to the mouth. And you may see here, these are uh, two, uh, what you call lungs, and air comes through from the lungs and goes upwards and passes through these spaces, then enters, this part is larynx. And this is epiglottis, this uh, upper part of larynx and then it passes into the mouth passes and this area is called pharynx and if uh, the nasal passage is closed then it goes out, comes out you can say through the mouth passage to produce several sounds. Sometimes we, uh, in, in normal situation this mouth is closed and we breathe through nasal passage. Clear? Let's proceed further. Larynx, let me explain this. This is, this is situated at the top of the trachea or the windpipe. You have seen this. This is tra uh, the trachea windpipe and this is larynx. And it contains the vocal cords which play a very important role in producing speech sounds. And uh, larynx contains vocal cord. Let me show you vocal cords also. These two are vocal cords. They can be held together to produce vibrations and this is the top of the larynx and within this larynx we have vocal cords. Vocal cords, these are situated inside the larynx. We can keep them in tightly closed position and these can be kept apart. And this is another picture of vocal cords. Uh, glottis opening, uh, glottis opening of the windpipe. This is glottis uh, opening of the windpipe, and these are two vocal cords, the two parts. They can be uh, held together. They can be kept apart. And this area is pipe, air, air pipe, windpipe. You can say. And glottis, the glottis is closed and opened according to the requirement. This. This upper part of uh, vocal cord, this uh, area is called glottis. It can be closed, it can be opened accordingly. According to the requirement, you can say. It's tightly closed when we cough and the air that comes out of the lungs is held beneath it. After that, it suddenly releases the air out. When the air is breathed out, the glottis also remains in open position. It remains open when the, we throw out the air. Uh, in all natural, it's all natural automatic process. When we breathe in and breathe out, uh, it works automatically. 
Sometimes the vocal cords are held tightly when the air stream passes through them. In that situation, the vocal cords create vibration, which is called voice. Some sounds are voiced and some sounds are uh, unvoiced, you can say. So voiced and non-voiced sounds are also create, created through vocal cords. Uh, thus, speech sounds can be voiced or voiceless, you can say. The air stream can further be modified by certain cavities above the larynx, the pharynx, the mouth and the nasal cavity. This is a hollow place. And let, let me show you mouth. This is the roof, roof of the, the roof of the mouth, this one. And this is a hard palate, you can say. And soft palate is the uh, just above uvula. This is uvula. And this is soft palate, very, very soft. And these are tonsils, they uh, do not play any part. And this is tongue, very vital organ for producing several sounds, vowel sounds uh, indeed. We have the following parts of the mouth. The roof of the mouth, that is this one. It has further division, the alveolar or the teeth ridge. Uh, behind, just behind the teeth ridge, uh, these are, uh, you are watching teeth and this portion is not uh, visible to you, but just behind the uh, teeth, this is teeth ridge. And then second, hard palate. After the teeth ridge, you will have hard palate. And then soft palate, this one soft palate, we call it the velum, velum also. And at the end of the soft palate is uvula. This, is, this one is uvula. We call it uvula. This is the pronunciation of this. It's a soft piece of flesh that we find hanging at the back of the mouth. We can lower the soft palate to let the air stream go out through the nasal passages. Sometimes we lower it and uh, the air goes through the nasal passages. This is the normal position of the soft palate while breathing. And when the mouth is closed, the air goes through this passage. And this is shut. This passage is shut automatically and the air goes through the nasal passage and this is the normal situation when we breathe in and, uh, uh, and breathe out. Nasal sounds like ma, na and ng, ing are produced if mouth passage is kept open. These are three nasal sounds and these are produced if the mouth passage is kept open. Lips are also very important in the production of sound speech. The, they help, uh, the lips help us in different, they are held in, this is held, they are held in different positions. We can hold them together and keep them apart. Some sounds are uh, produced with the help of uh, lips. Uh, some, uh, we keep them rounded also to produce uh, the sound like was sound in W weight, right? And we can spread, keep them in neutral position and round them to produce certain speech sounds. Tongue, tongue is also an, uh, you can call indispensable, the word is indispensable organ of speech. It has certain parts like uh, tip, the blades, the front and the back. This is the tip of the tongue and these sides are called the blades of tongue, right? And this is the front, front and this one is the back. Some vowel sounds are back vowel sounds, right? And while producing vowel and consonant sounds, its parts are brought near or made to touch the roof of the mouth. So, dear students, this is the end of the video that's for. I shall bring more things for you. Keep watching and subscribe for my channel and share my videos with your friends and they can be benefited from these videos. For the next video, let me have a break. Have a nice day. Thank you.